morning guys! This week's vlog is slightly different. We are going to be trying out TikTok baked oatmeal recipes. I don't know if you've seen them online, but they look so good. I'm kind of late to the trend, but the thing is, for breakfast, I'm a like grab and go kind of person. I just want to eat. This seemed like way too much effort, but I thought if I make a YouTube video out of this, and now that we're doing vlogs, I can kind of do a more chill, like it's not really a challenge, like I do hope these turn out well. So it's an excuse. I'm using you guys an excuse to actually try something I've been wanting for a while. But yeah, if you're new here, I'm Passioni. Usually I'm with my sister Felissa who will probably pop into this video to try these and you're watching TJ TV. <laughs> so I'm going to be trying out five different oatmeal toppings, flavors, and I'm going to be using different recipes as the base as well. Watch to the end to find out all the different types of baked oatmeals that I make and let me know which one sounds like your favorite. I wish I could give you a little bit of a taste. And we're starting off with a chocolate chip one. Okay, so for this chocolate chip one, I am using a recipe that has applesauce and I think all the other ones use banana. I have never tried applesauce. To be honest, I didn't even know where it was in the supermarket. So I'm just gonna put everything in here, blend and then add the chocolate chips at the end. I am going to make double because apparently it is a recipe for one person. And I want Talissa to try, my dad if he wants to try, he can. Oh my gosh. Already making a mess. But that's okay. I just don't want it to taste bad. Now let's just blend this. The other thing is in all recipes and TikTok videos, they make it a little cute, like white, kind of like bowls that you put in the oven. I don't have that, so I'm just gonna put it in the tray and hope that it works. So I'm gonna put this in the oven and I'll see you when it's ready. Wait a minute, something ain't right. I almost forgot the best part, the chocolate chips. Oh my gosh, how could I do that? This is not like any oatmeal recipe. This is supposed to be like fancy, different flavored one. Now it's ready to go. 20 minutes later. I have tried to put it in a bowl. It doesn't look as nice. Just remember when I took it out of the oven how it looked, okay? My first impressions are, I think I should have definitely have made it in like a smaller tray because in that way it'd be like thicker. I think that would probably be nicer. The other thing is I don't know if I left it too little or too long. Let's try it first bite. Oh, it's really good. It's breakfast and it's supposed to be like a healthy, like a balanced breakfast. So I didn't put that many chocolate chips, but the chocolate chips are like really good. So, you know, when you're making it yourself, you decide how much you want in there. But at this point, it's not like a muffin kind of hard. So it's still quite soft like oatmeal, but it is like more like held together. And it's like really soft and fluffy. I got Talissa in to try it. Oh, I can't wait to try it. I got a part with like a lot of chocolate chips. Yeah, I kind of made a mistake and there's like a huge clump on them, but it's like okay, anything else. Mm. It's good, right? Mm -hmm. But it's very different to like oatmeal when I have it. Day two, and it is an apple cinnamon one. Sounds tasty, but sounds like a little bit more work. I actually have to chop these, and today we're using banana instead of the apple sauce. I'm using these instead. I'm just trying to find an in-between, like these might be too small, but then the other one's too big. So I'm just trying to find an, a good in-between size. So today we're testing these one now. We'll see how it goes. So I don't know if I should just pour it or like, if that will make a mess. And the other thing is while I'm pouring is that, like I always assume you guys know this, but assuming is never a good thing. So I just want to say everything is like washed and washed clean, prepared. We just like d usually don't show this in the process, but like the apples have been washed. Just thought I would put it out there. <laughs> and then it said to put some apples on top. They make it look really pretty. I don't really know how to do that. So I'm just going to put it randomly. Here it is. I'm going to put it in the oven and then I will see you guys on the <laughs> 
I decided to put caramel on top and you can watch my failed attempt and try to like show you guys in a little aesthetic while holding the camera I couldn't see and so kind of just <laughs> made it a mess. I tried. The problem is now removing it from this and putting it onto a plate of sorts because last time it was it's oatmeal, it's not cake, and it is a little bit softer than cake. This one feels even softer, and I did leave it for longer. So I think I put too much milk maybe, or maybe because you put like apples in there, and the apples have a lot of water. You know, it's gonna have to plop it in there, and it's gonna not look great, but it's gonna be the taste that counts. There's no way to make this look good. Let's try. Mmm. And I can taste the banana, but it makes it more like banana bread, not just banana by itself, so it's really good. I actually like this one. I think I even like it more than the chocolate chip one. I think the apples, I can't taste it that much, but I think it just made it really sweet. Few moments later. Before I go, my mom was gonna try one and she managed. Maybe because it was a border piece. Look at that! It <gasps> <laughs> showing through. This recipe did have eggs and no milk so I'm kind of wondering if it'll be cake-like but we'll see. Let's see. Consistency wise it's pretty similar to yesterday's. The apple one so far my favorite but the raspberry here like makes a little bit more like it's a little tangy, a little bit sour and it goes really well with the rest of it. It's so soft look at that. Yeah, all three. It's good portion size in here. Which one's winning so far? Yes, it is. <laughs> this is good. This is a bit sour. today. This is how it looks like. Like it doesn't look too thin which is a good thing. Today I went back to the other tray just because I have to leave in like five minutes. So I thought maybe this tray will take less time to cook. And I don't know for some reason I thought that the sprinkled sugar on top would then make it like crust and like golden. Don't know what I was thinking. I think that's like creme brulee because like you use like the torch or something. But I can see like peanut butter inside. It's like all gooey. The jam didn't spread though. Okay, so let's just ignore presentation today and let's just dig in. I'm still making up my mind. It's really good. It's not one of my favorites. Maybe I'll put a little bit of peanut butter with a chocolate chip one. I think that could work. It's the last day and today we're making one that a little bit more... It's dessert, let's be honest. Actually, I've just had my lunch. I was too tired this morning to do it in a rush like yesterday. Yesterday was way too early and so this recipe is a different one. We'll see. I really liked the yesterday's recipe. It ended up being so soft. Even in the bigger tray, it was so soft. But I'm following through to the end. I'm trying all these different recipes. I will leave a link down below of my favorite recipe. Honestly, this morning when I didn't have the oatmeal, like I didn't even know what to eat. Cause like this is good to have. It just takes a while, especially cause you have to go in the oven for 20 minutes. But if you have time, it's pretty good. Wow, it's actually a lot of Nutella. It's gonna be four tablespoons. Oh, Oh, I haven't asked you guys. Let me know what you have for breakfast. I'm so curious. Everyone has different things. I usually go through phases. So there's a phase I only ate nugget for breakfast every single day. 
then there was cereal every single day. I've had oatmeal every single day for like a few months. Okay, this is how it's looking. Look at that. There's so much chocolate in there. You know what? Yesterday, at first I wasn't the biggest fan, but it really grew on me. It was really filling when I was eating. The taste wasn't too overwhelming. Like, it felt like a nice breakfast. 20 minutes later. Cassie, you left the best until last. It smells like a brownie. Mm -hmm. Let's go. It's so good. Surprisingly though, it, I thought it'd be much like heavier and much more like chocolatey. I put a lot of Nutella. Yeah, it smells like a brownie. It doesn't really taste mm. like brownie, but it's this is good. still my favorite. This is your favorite? This is my favorite and second favorite was from the second day with okay. the caramel on top. My favorite was the apple. With caramel. Yeah, and then I think second was probably like the either the raspberry white chocolate or the peanut and jam. I enjoyed this though. I enjoyed trying to make all these. It's a lot of effort for breakfast though, so I don't know if I'll do it regularly. I was lucky because I had like breakfast prepared <laughs> by you every morning this week. Let us know which one you think you like best. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe and hit that notification button. We're posting new videos every single week, so we'll see you next time. Bye!